Hello, my ninjas, and welcome back to another Contrast 101 Hive Fleet Hydra. We're going to be using Citadel Color Contrast Paints. Now, I show you the Magos Purple here, and I use a teeny tiny bit of Magos Purple, but I promise you we are not actually going to use Magos Purple. We are going to be use um, Shyish Purple for this, uh, as well as Black Templar and Leviathan Blue. So, I get the Magos Purple. You can completely ignore this part. What? Don't, don't, close your eyes. Close your eyes. We are not putting Magos Purple on this mo- Okay, we are, but it was a mistake. No, actually, I didn't care for it. I didn't think it was dark enough. It's possible I didn't shake the Magos enough, but Magos Purple is a lightish pinky purple. You can use the Magos Purple on the head if you want. I, in the end, looked at it right here, went, I do not like that effect closed my bottle of Magos Purple, went off camera briefly. You can see my hands moving. There's the paintbrush. That is my hands, ninjas. And I'm grabbing the Shyish Purple. And we're going to cover all of that Magos Purple with Shyish Purple. And I don't know how much that affects. There it is. I don't know how much that affects the final product because the Shyish Purple is a darker purple than the Magos. You see, we're using the Shyish on the hands there. We're going to start there. I'm going to give the Shyish a little, or the Magos, a little bit of a chance to dry. Just a tad. Um, and this Tyranid Hive Fleet is different than all of the others because it has a different colored head and different colored hands compared to the rest of the body. Uh, and this was an interpretation by the artist that there was the hard carapace, there was exoskeleton, and there was soft flesh and uh, the, they made each of those elements slightly different color. Shyish purple for the soft flesh, Leviathan blue for the exoskeleton, and black Templar for the carapace. Um, and that's an interesting interpretation. It really is. Uh, I've got to admit, this is not my favorite of the Hive Fleets. It's one of the reasons why it doesn't make an appearance until fairly late in my Hive Fleet Leviathan Contrast 101 series. Hive Fleet, Tyranid Hive Fleet Contrast 101 series. Uh, but there you go. So we're putting the Shyish Purple down. We put it down over the face. And it will end up slightly pinker, which actually goes to show you what kind of effect you can achieve by combining Shyish and Magos Purple. Uh, and so this is Ultramarines Blue. You can use Ultramarines Blue. You can use Leviadon Blue. I think I've said Leviadon throughout this video, but I mean Ultramarines Blue. Because it's a nice bright blue, but it's still dark. It's darker, a lot darker than Talisar Blue. And really gives you a good effect. So we're just going to coat that over all of the skin and exoskeleton parts that are not already made purple, which is really just the hands and head. And we don't even need to worry too much about letting the purple dry. There have been other Tyranid Hive fleets where you wanted them to dry first. All right, and all those blue plates are done. Now it's time to grab the Black Templar with a little blood of blah, 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 with a little bit of Black Templar over these carapace plates. That and the hooves. Uh, that'll pretty much finish off this Hive Fleet Hydra guy. We'll need to do some work and some touch up on the base, but you can see already how that uh, blue and the purple are looking. They're pooling nicely in the recesses. Uh, they're giving us nice bright surfaces.
The black one in particular, we do want to make sure that we have it pool where uh, where it needs to pool. And let those uh, edges... The, the black seems to self-recess and self-highlight uh, a little more cleanly than some of the other colors, if only because it's pure black in the shadows. Uh, and, and becomes a nice gray in the highlights that still doesn't read as gray the way that, say, Basilicanum Gray would. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw a little bit of color on the gun as well. Once I've finished that armor plate. And that gun is going to be the same uh, shyish purple that we used elsewhere on the figure. A little bit of white dry brushed across the teeth. I got a little bit heavy there. I got a little bit heavy there. My dry brush did not dry brush. It filled the gaps. So we're going to go back with a different color. We're going to put a wash of uh, Drakenhof Nightshade, or possibly we might use Agrax Earthshade to uh, go in there as a wash and just make the gaps between the teeth dark again. There, we're using Agrax. Agrax Earthshade in there, in the gaps in the teeth. And see how it brings the tooth detail back out right away. Never be afraid of making mistakes with this stuff. And take a little bit of Leviathan Blue and we're just gonna paint it in the darkest, darkest cracks of the carapace. And all that's doing is it's adding a, a depth to that color. It's adding a little bit of blue into that black and you can see already it still doesn't read as blue but now it does read ever so much more as black than it did before
And now for the base, we're going to take some Agrellin Badlands. That's GW Technical Paint. Uh, Martian Iron Crust. We're not taking the Agrellin Badlands. We changed our mind. We're taking the Martian Iron Crust, and we are going to cover the base of this bad boy in Martian Iron, Crust, Iron Earth, which is going to give us a, a crackle. This is the crackle paint. Uh, I usually like the texture paints, but this is the crackle paint. And I'm starting to have a lot of fun working with these. So the trick, of course, I'm using an old metal file. This is a file that got gummed up with super glue years ago, and I can't have not been able to recover it. Um, and it works great as a little spatula here. Uh, I'm also going to go for something different. I usually use that little metal file for everything. I'm going to grab a, a ratty old brush. You can see this is ratty. I'm going to use that ratty old brush this time instead of the metal file. And I'm going to sploosh it around, and I want different depths of texture. I want there to be thicker parts and thinner parts, but I don't want it to be wildly different. A nice, smooth, even surface is okay. It's not what I want. I want something with texture. And you can see I'm kind of tapping the brush down, picking it back up. And then we're going to cover this. We're going to cover this with a little bit of wash to give it a little bit more color. In the meantime, I wanted to remind everyone uh, to leave a like if you liked this video. Leave a comment if there's more different kinds of models and different things you'd like to see on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this kind of content. Um, definitely, the likes let me know which, which kinds of creatures and which kinds of colors you'd like to see the most. Uh, and if you really want to support this channel with with uh, with your wallet, you can go over to patreon.com slash seven ninjas and you can throw us just a dollar a month. Uh, that'll give you access to these videos one week early. Uh, they'll still go up on YouTube. There's nothing behind a paywall. Uh, you can also get the opportunity at higher dollar levels to suggest a model for me to paint or provide a model for me to paint. I will paint that model. I'll paint it in the color you want me to paint it. So here I'm going to take, because I did this over white, you can see the white cracks. So I'm going to take a little bit of Drakenhof Nightshade and I'm going to throw that down. And one of the things that's going to do is it's going to purple the Martian Iron Earth ever so slightly, but it's also going to blue the cracks. I want to thank everyone for joining us here at Seven Inches Studios. You can see what we're doing. We're going to be posting all these things. Contrast 101, we're having a great time. You, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Do all those youtube -y kind of things. A little flake came off, and you can see I just reapply the flake. No big deal. Make sure you glaze these models and seal them. You have a great time. We'll take your models from gray to great.